Okay, my friends, I have a absolute fascinating mystery about sprites and what was originally called these gamma ray bursts triggered by lightning. Well, they're not triggered by lightning. They are gamma ray bursts. I will agree with that. They call them a TGS, terrestrial gamma ray flashes. Terrestrial, yes. They are not happening in the atmosphere triggered by lightning. Absolutely not. I will show you what they are triggered by. And they are exploding into the atmosphere. And these sprites are happening along this area. Now, why? Why in that region? Well, there's a lot of lightning, they say. Well, why is there a lot of lightning? I'm going to tell you why all of these things are happening. And I'm going to show you the actual events. All right, so what are we seeing? That's a sprite. Well, what is happening? It's extremely obvious. There is some kind of an emission from here, and it concusses right about there. The main beam comes straight up, and it splatters off to the sides. But that is the intense portion. What's all this stuff? Is that going up? No, that's coming back down. Why is this happening? There's an intense amount of radiation coming from the Earth right, up, obviously concussing in this layer here. Why in this layer? There happens to be a layer of particles they call the ionosphere. Well, an ion it means that it's, it's out of balance in its particles. In other words, it's a positive or a negative particle. It's an ion. Well, this layer is in the layer of the Earth that's spinning around, concussing with all the other electrons that are in space. And it is loaded with electrons. I don't care what they say. From the sun, it is spitting out photons, electrons, particles of every nature. They don't even consider them to be there. That is the dark energy and the dark matter in space. This is the ionosphere, which is collecting those particles, becoming intensely negative and the magnetosphere up here is attracting so many electrons that it is 56,000 degrees and the only thing that creates temperature is excessive electrons and when they bleed out it gets colder you force them in with your heater your whatever you're doing your electricity they get hotter and hotter you stop it they bleed out they get colder and colder you force electrons into anything, it gets hotter. And when you get them in this condition, they explode. They can't hold anymore. Pew, get back down there. Go back where you came from. And they spit them back down. There is no possible other explanation. None. There's another one. It's not hard to see what's going on. I mean, who can't? I mean, how can you miss that? This stuff is impacting and coming back down because it can't absorb anymore. Too much, too much electricity up there already. All right, so what is coming out of the Earth impacting up there? Well, they're seeing these kind of beams. These kind of beams, I believe, are sinkhole collapses. The Earth has a fabric around its, its core. Its core is almost like a wiffle ball. And there are gigantic circular tubes in the Earth that if they collapse, they create atomic forces underneath because they come down, they crush the atomic gases, which are methanes and hydrogen gases, which collect in these tubes. And when they do, they create atomic blasts. And I believe this water spout caused the fabric of the Earth to shift enough to create a drop in the the um, fabric and then shoot this out. And that's, every time you see these kind of heavy clouds and stuff, you, you have pressure changes in the earth. The fabric of the earth is doing this. That's when they get these things. And they're seeing them around the earth. Now, why? There's huge voids in the earth. Let me show you that. See, there's another one. Now, lightning is often associated with these two. I mean, this is happening not not often, but it's been seen in, in, in many places. I mean, this is down in Guatemala. Now, that is not just erosion. That is 
a cavity that was built into the earth as the structural component of the earth used to digest things. The earth was alive. Now, we've sucked so many fluids out of the earth, there's, there's no fluids left in there. Well, what's going to collect in there? Methane gases, absolutely no question. What's going to happen if you drop that catastrophically and crushed those methane gases? You are going to force their atomic nuclei together. You are going to get a blast that is unbelievable, and that is exactly what a Sprite is. In my mind, that's what I'm seeing.